Who's that? Who's that? Okay, here we go. I think she knows her sister's coming home. Today, Victoria comes home. After being away at school for six months, she gets to reunite with her babies. It was really, really hard leaving home because my dogs are my world. Echo and I have a very, very strong bond. I really do consider her a soulmate. Echo! She follows her everywhere, whether it's to her room, outside, even to the bathroom. Echo really does miss Victoria. Every single night, she goes to Victoria's room and peeks in her room as if she's checking on her before she goes to sleep, only to look back at me so sad, like, she's not here. Every time my sister's door is just a little bit open, Echo will go in there, lay in her bed. We can't find her. She's in Victoria's room. You can truly see the love between them. Every time Victoria comes in the room after she's been gone for a while, immediately the first thing Echo wants to do is roll over so she can get her Victoria belly rubs. That's like her favorite thing. Their relationship is super, super sweet. We had Echo for so long, just Echo, and then... We had been looking into adopting another dog just to keep Echo company when we all are at work and school. When we met Toto, he was super shy. He was definitely afraid of people. But it's funny because I was in The Wizard of Oz my junior year. Toto looks like Toto. So we decided to try to see if he would work out in the musical. The second we brought him on stage with all of these people, he took on this persona of like a little movie star. The kids loved him, he loved them, he loved acting. He was so cute in the play. It was very, very sweet to see him with Victoria and how much he trusted Victoria. It was like it was truly meant to be. It is the best decision I could have made, but there have been some times where, you know, I've been down and just not having my dogs there. It's felt empty, but it'll make our reunion so much more special to me, and that's all I keep telling myself. I'm like, having that love again, it's just gonna like refill like that little hole in my heart. Today's the day she comes home. We'll be waking up super early and getting on a plane and flying home to San Antonio and seeing Echo and Toto for the first time in six months. I am super excited for Victoria to come home and to see her with Echo and Toto. I get to have the sister that I've missed for all this time and it's going to be very emotional. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my love. So as great as it was to see my family after all this time, this whole week, all I can think about is like finally being home and having my dogs there. On our way. This is my best friends and I've been away from them for so long. I've always been worried like, oh, what if they forget me? Or like, they don't think I love them anymore, which is so silly, but it's so exciting to me that I'm going to be home because like, they're my home. Who's that? Look at that go. Remember you? Dorothy! <laughs> it's Dorothy! She's smiling! <laughs> oh, you're so cute! <laughs> She's so <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I missed. Oh. Yeah. for lost time. Are you glad to be home? Yeah. It's funny how it's as if a day hasn't passed. Their sister's back, Victoria's here, they get to give her love. She's gonna stay by your side like I know. for days. We missed you guys.
Rekindling with Deco and Toto, it was such a fulfilling moment. My dogs are my soulmates. I've had Echo for nine years now, and I think we have grown together. And with Toto, seeing him grow from the super apprehensive, shy, scared dog into somebody who's just so loving, that's so beautiful. When you have that connection and that bond, it's unbreakable. And knowing that I have an unbreakable connection with my two dogs, what better of a feeling, you know?